OK, so let's say we want to solve tan of x plus 280 equals 4.1 between 0 and 360 degrees. So first of all, inverse tan both sides. OK, so inverse tan 4.1 is 76.3 degrees to 3 sig fig. So then sketch tan between 0 and 360. OK, just needs to be a basic sketch. OK, so 4.1. There's one solution, there's the second. So there's your 76.3, and we can get the second solution by adding on 180. So x plus 280 equals 180 plus the 76.3, which makes 256 degrees to 3 sig fig. So 256 is there. OK, so then we apply the transformation. So we subtract 280 from both sides. So we get minus 23.7 degrees to 3 sig fig there. And then inverse tan 4.1, take away uh, 280, is minus uh, 204 degrees to 3 sig fig. Now clearly, both of these solutions are out of range. OK, so what I need to do is I need to progressively add on uh, 180 degrees, OK, the period of tan, to get solutions that are between 0 and 360. Now, the thing is, if you add uh, 180 to the minus 204, you arrive at this solution here. So actually, we've done a little bit more work than we really needed to. That's because with tan, unlike sine and cos, there are not two kind of, um, I'd, I'd say distinct solutions, but distinct is the wrong word. Um, they're kind of two solutions that are not interconnected. These ones, this one and this one, they are 180 degrees from each other, and they always are, OK, for tan. So really, we only needed to find one of these and then add 180 on each time. OK, but um, that's the way it goes. So if I add on 180 to that one, I get that one. OK, so if I add on 180 to this one, OK, I get 156 degrees to 3 sig fig. Now, if I add on another 180, I still am within my uh, 0 to 360. And so this must also be a solution. So that gets me 336 degrees to 3 sig fig. So my two solutions to the original problem are 156 degrees and 336 degrees to 3 sig fig.